Uh, I'm from Halifax, Nova Scotia, actually. Uh, we love drinking out east. That's a big, big part of our culture out there. I don't know if you've ever been out there, but they love drinking. And like, when you're a kid, you don't know. Like, your family's drunk your whole life and you have no idea. You just think they're happy, is what you think. Like, until I was nine, I thought Pepsi was called Mix. <laughs> So how has it been for you? I mean, you know, we talk a lot about in the pandemic, the restaurants and facilities opening and closing, but for someone like yourself that makes their living as a stand-up comedian, what has the past two years been like for you? Uh, it has been trying, definitely difficult. Um, we, as comedians here in Canada, are very fortunate to have a uh, income stream coming from Sirius XM on, uh, uh, if I can plug it, channel 168. Uh, it's Canada Laughs. Uh, that's been wonderful. Thank goodness for them. But otherwise, it was a lot of Zoom calls, a lot of focusing on myself and my family and sort of some things that I've been putting off around uh, the, the house kind of thing. But it, it, it wasn't easy, Jason. I'm sure you can attest. Man, we're just we're awful with emotions. We're not good at it, right? Like we just we were never shown how, you know, like like my dad never let me cry at all when I was a kid ever. Like any time like I, I would start crying, my dad would use this phrase. He would say, suck it up. Hey, you better suck it up. If you guys don't know what suck it up means, uh, it means push it down until you're an adult and let it come out during episodes of This Is Us is what. And, and a lot of people talk about the pandemic pivots and your pandemic pivots have been absolutely crazy. I mean, you've gotten married, you've yeah. had a baby, and yeah. I'm curious, you know, obviously that's a change of life, but how does that reflect what you now do on stage? Uh, well, it's probably made me a little more relatable for certain crowds. You know, there is a difference uh, saying my girlfriend and then saying my wife on stage. For whatever reason, it just resonates a little better. Um, I've obviously been writing about my my new child in, in my life, and I'm hoping that that can also be a, a relatable topic. Since the start of stand-up comedy, like please take my wife, my, my children are awful, have been like the, the tropes of comedy. So I'm hoping that I, I can muster up some great material from it. She's a teacher. She's not gonna be happy all the time. She has homework and stuff. She gets stressed out to the point where recently she's actually started grinding her teeth in her sleep. That's awful. Yeah, it's not fun. It's terrible. But she was like embarrassed. She didn't even tell me about it. She went to a sleep doctor and the sleep doctor told her she had to start sleeping with a mouth guard in, um, which is cool. Uh, but I would have liked a heads up of some kind. <laughs> it's just a real confusing night when you're laying in bed and your girl rolls in with a mouth guard. And you're like, how rough is this sex about to be? Is this a Yuck Yucks Burlington on Saturday night. Uh, what does a Kyle Hickey comedy routine consist of? Ah, uh, well, it consists of probably talking about some COVID related material. I try not to do it for too long because you can literally see it on people's faces where they're like, okay, like we have been dealing with this for so long. Let's just talk about anything outside of COVID. So it'll be about, you know, my wife living in Toronto, uh, being from the Maritimes and from uh, Halifax, Nova Scotia, uh, about my, my little pooch over here. Um, yeah, but, uh, plenty of things. And, and I'm gonna sell the heck out of it because I'm just so excited to be performing again. It's Saturday night, 7.30 at Yucks Burlington. Uh, best of luck getting back up there and don't let the nerves get to you. <laughs> Thank you, Jason. Appreciate it, buddy.